Welcome everybody to the, the fifth Next Generation Biophysics Symposium here at the LNB. And usually we'd like to kind of welcome to the LNB, especially on a day like this where it's it may be slightly cold, but it's lovely and sunny. But unfortunately then COVID again has gotten in the way of us uh, coming together in person. But with the joys of Zoom, we can, we can all join together here. There's over 600 um, of us um, together across the world. So hello to everybody um, in Australia. Good evening and good morning to everybody in, on the west coast of America and in Chile and Argentina. And hello to everybody um, as, as far south as South Africa. So we, we've got a great program today covering four different areas and a fantastic keynote spe speech at the end. Um, so we want to try and keep on time, um, but we are allowing 20 minutes for, for talk and 10 minutes for questions. So please every, everybody um, have questions. There'll be times for break and for lunch. And we hope to then finish at about six o'clock in uh, British time. So first of all, it gives me then great pleasure then to, to ask Jonathan Weber, the Dean of the Facility of, of Medicine in Imperial, to formally open the meeting. Dave, thank you very much indeed um, for that introduction. Thank you for um, inviting me to come and give a short introduction to you. So I'm John Weber, Dean Faculty of Medicine at Imperial College, um, and I'm a long way from where you are scientifically. I'm an infectious disease physician, uh, very at home with COVID. But um, I just wanted to bring out three things I've learned through being Dean of Medicine, which has been so critical, I think, to the driving forces behind this meeting. Uh, the first is the absolute importance of embracing discovery science within and adjacent to a faculty of medicine and really encouraging integration. So we're lucky enough to have our own embedded MRC Institute, the LMS, London Institute of Medical Sciences, which Petra Heshkova is currently be speaking a bit later is currently the, the director of. And we co-invested with MRC to make a building where both the faculty and the MRC are jointly investing embedded on our hospital site, the Hammersmith in, in West London. We also, of course, have an investment in the Crick and uh, have critical relationships with the Crick with jointly appointed staff. And that integration, particularly around virology and immunology has been so important for us. So bringing these really powerful discovery science institutes adjacent to and integrated with medicine is, is absolutely the future for translational faculties like ours. Uh, the second is around working across disciplines. So at Imperial College, which traditionally was a college of science and technology and engineering, um, we had physical sciences and engineering at South Ken, a long way away from our clinical campuses. Um, and it was a struggle to integrate over a 20 year period. But we bought some land adjacent to the Hammersmith Hospital and started moving physical sciences and engineering to that site adjacent to the hospital and indeed adjacent to LMS. And that's really encouraged translational working by co-location. So to do it both virtually, but also to put the resource into bringing these very, very different groups together because that to me is where the real creativity is coming from, from our links with engineering, our links with physics, with critical our links with chemistry and with data science. And uh, what an exciting area that is. And some of that will come out in this meeting today. And the third has been just how important it is to work with industry. So I, I, um, I first met Manny Pangloss about, uh, about eight years ago, tracked him down for dinner at King's Cross. And um, it was really uh, a shock and, and really quite inspirational to find someone coming in to head up research in a major pharmaceutical company who had a focus on publications and the quality of scientific outputs and wanting to work just quite so directly with universities and indeed with the institutes such as LMB in, in driving the company's scientific agenda. And um, that's been just a terrific and growing relationship just recently, we, we hosted a symposium with Maria Belvisi, runs the respiratory and immunology group of AZ, and many who has an embedded laboratory at Imperial 
And uh, I can see many collaborations coming out of that. And just um, earlier this week, um, AZ invested in Robin Shattuck's self-amplifying RNA technology coming out of Imperial. So I, I find our relationships with AZ on a very different order to our relationships with other pharma. And I'm really excited then to see today, um, so one of the manifestations of that, the uh, academia working with the MRC institutes and with industry. So I hope you have a really good day. I'm gonna dip in and out and listen to talks which are so far from my own area with enormous interest and uh, good luck. Thank you.